What's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about how I started profitable businesses with little to no money. Oh, you know, I get asked this a lot. The very first business I started when I was 18 years old, I started with zip, no money. Um, and then multiple businesses after that, all the way up until last year, I started businesses with no money. So for 10 years, I was starting businesses with no money. My most recent business, the massage business, I did invest money in starting out because I do have a lot more experience with businesses. I do know a lot more and frankly, I have more money than I had when I was 18. So I actually have the money to invest in a business. Um, but I'm glad that I started with no money because I learned the areas that you don't have to spend a lot of money in to grow your business. And then I learned which areas that if you do invest more money in, if you'll get a better payoff, you'll get a better return on investment, you'll be able to see better results quicker and there are some things you just can't skim over there are some things in a business where you can't always go the cheapest route you have to invest in in this recent business i did start off investing but previously in the past i didn't invest any money in my businesses starting out at least for the first couple months before i started putting money back into the business some other point i'll do a video on what I did spend money on in this business and how it helped to grow this business much faster than the business that I've had in the past I'll do that later. Today's video, we're focusing on how I started businesses in the past with little to no money and they were still profitable and successful businesses. The first one, my website. I use Vistaprint. Mm. Um, quick and easy, Vistaprint, I used to swear by it. I still use it sometimes. It's not the it's not always the best option, but when you need cost effective options it's definitely a savior there and the main reason is because you get the first month free and you get time to build up your website before you have to pay for it so when you go to vistaprint you get to sign up for you can sign up for their website and they don't charge you to sign up for it. it's free to sign up for the website so you can pick your domain name they have all kinds of templates you can use they have them based on whatever field you're in you can kind of go in there and it's really really easy to use to set up your website you can create your contact page your home page your blog page you know all kinds of cool fancy pages on there you can create like cards for people to check out whatever your products are The light just changed, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going. But yeah, it's super, super cool because it's super easy to use and it is free. Now, once you get ready to publish your site, it used to be free for like the first month, no matter what. So I would actually go on there, build my website in like a week and then publish my website and my website would be free for the next three weeks. So I could use that time building up my customers and clientele, sending them to the website that I didn't pay for. And then once they make a purchase, the website then pays for itself because it's like $20 a month to maintain that website. Now, as opposed to using like Squarespace and things like that, it can be a little bit more expensive because on a regular website, you're not paying monthly generally you might pay like annually or if you if you know how to build websites yourself and everything you're already a step ahead of the game i do not i do not know how to build a website i like easy or i pay someone to do it for me it has to either be easy for me to do or i pay someone else to do it for me but if you know how to build a website you're already a step ahead of the game i do not vista print saves my life each and every single time each and every single time my current website with my masseuse business is on vistaprint saves my life every single time um and it doesn't have like the branding at the bottom like you know like they have on godaddy or something like that or, or like your website is www.godaddy. you know my virtual assistant business.com it, it doesn't have any of that branding on there it's your domain name when you scroll to the bottom it doesn't say this website is powered by vistaprint it doesn't say any of that stuff so i think that that also makes it look more professional and no one knows exactly that you went the more economical route <laughs> um as opposed to spending thousands and thousands on a website so definitely vistaprint save my life for a website and I did include um, a link in the description down below if you've never used Vistaprint if you didn't know that they made websites because I hear that a lot people are like I didn't even know Vistaprint made websites well now you know they do go check it out link down in the description below the next thing I did was find marketing routes that were cost effective so Groupon 
when you work up i have to turn the light on this is not gonna work bear me a second all right now hopefully that's better the next thing that i do is find cost effective marketing routes these are gonna be things like groupon and thumbtack things that it doesn't cost you anything to sign up for and you don't pay unless you make money now that's more so true with groupon but you have to discount your prices pretty drastically in order to be successful on groupon plus Groupon takes out a percentage. So when you're first starting out, it does help to bring in some income, but I wouldn't say that that should be your only marketing strategy because of the fact that essentially you are losing money because you have to discount your rates. I like Thumbtack a lot. I've used Thumbtack to grow multiple businesses. The only thing with Thumbtack is that you pay for leads. The bonus is that it's a very, very, very small percentage. It's such a small percentage. So for right now, um, just an example, my massage business, our average price of massage is about $100 and Thumbtack charges $5 per lead. So we make 95, we only pay five. Mm, totally worth it in my opinion. Groupon, if your massage, if our massage is like 100 bucks, we have to discount it like 60 bucks and then Groupon takes a percentage of it as well. So we're only making like 25 to $30 on a massage that would normally cost $100. Um, but again, that works better. Groupon definitely works better in a service-based business where you're pretty much sacrificing your time in exchange for getting customers and profit in the future as opposed to sacrificing your money. Where if you have a product-based business, you still have to pay to, to get those products made. You have to pay for shipping. You have to pay for you know your, the inventory that you have in. You still have to pay for that stuff. So if you're discounting it, you are actually losing money. As opposed to with a service-based business, you're more so sacrificing your time, which most business owners, all business owners have to do anyway. So it still works out in the end. But definitely find those routes of free or very little cost marketing so that you can find customers without having to put a lot of money out there to find them and you can start growing that customer base without spending a lot of money. Next, word of mouth is so important. Word of mouth is so important. Word of mouth is so important. And in case you missed it, word of mouth is so important. Ah! Okay, when you get one customer, that first customer comes to you, treat them like gold. Treat them like they are your best friend. Treat them like they just saved your life. Treat them like they can have whatever they want and then convince them to tell their friends about you. I promise you word of mouth for any business is always going to be the best marketing strategy that you could ever come up with. But it comes from treating your current customers like gold. A lot of times new business owners get into the idea of the mindset that, oh, if this customer doesn't like me, there'll always be one more to come after them. There'll always be another customer. There'll always be another customer. I don't, you know, I don't need their money. There'll always be another customer. Unless they're a bad customer, there's no way to feel like that. You know, if a mistake happens, if you make a mistake, fix that mistake instead of saying oh well there'll be another customer treat that customer like gold even if you make a mistake a customer isn't likely to run if you make a mistake unless you don't try to fix that mistake but if you make a mistake and you fix a mistake they'll keep coming back if you treat them like gold they'll keep coming back and then they're going to tell their friends about you and now all of a sudden you're not paying for marketing you're getting free marketing in fact not only are you getting free marketing but your customer is paying you to turn around and tell their friends about you so that their friends can come and pay you. You're getting paid for other people to market for you when you give excellent customer service. Word of mouth is a wonderful and free. Why does my light keep going off? Ah! Word of mouth is a wonderful and free marketing tactic. Use it, use it, use it. Okay. Let's see if we can finish this video before it gets dark again. Only got one more tip for you guys. My last tip, put out free content. Put out free content. Put out free content. Oh my gosh, everyone wants to hide what they know. And that is not the way. That is definitely not the way. I feel like my lighting keeps adjusting. I have a new camera and it like, shh, I can see myself as I'm filming and I see my lighting getting softer and then harder and then softer and then harder. So let me try to finish this video before it changes again. Because uh, <laughs> my editing also, I'm mediocre at best. 
guys, you have to put out free content. If you are new to a business, you have no ex no clients that can vouch for how wonderful you are. You have no built-in audience. You have no online following, no social media audience, anything like that. You have to put out free content. And everyone seems to think that if you give away free gems, no one's gonna buy from you because you just gave away your information. And I promise you that's not it. Particularly if you have either a service or product-based business, either one, you have to put out free content and I promise you it will come back and help you in the long run. So if you're offering a product, find some content that's gonna help people with that product. Let's say you offer lip gloss. I don't know, I'm just throwing something else here. Let's say you sell lip gloss. Post information on social media or put out information about how that lip gloss is beneficial. Put out information about, you know, the dangers of using lip gloss with toxins in them. Put out information, um, do a YouTube video on the different shades of lip gloss that you have, different makeup looks with those shades of lip gloss. Put out content surrounding your product or service and then watch your audience grow and then watch your customers grow they're going to come to you because people want information about the things that they are using people want to know about the things that they are using and people want to know what you know about what they're using or about how you can help them so you definitely want to put out that free content and it will help your business to grow so starting out with no money you're going to start your website on Vistaprint where you can do it for free and then you only have to pay like $20 a month after that. Now I wouldn't say do that for a long run because I have learned that it can get quite expensive. As I was going over my financials, I realized that in that time frame, had I spent like the hundred and something dollars on a Squarespace website, I would have saved money. But starting out, it was still worth it to go the Vistaprint route. Um, and then at some point, once you do start making a profit, I would say switch that website over to a different um, host, which is not difficult to do with Vistaprint. They let you switch your domain name super easily. So definitely find another host after you get started. But when you're in the starting process, if you have little to no money, definitely start with Vistaprint because you can set that up for free. Definitely find those um, really easy marketing routes such as going through third parties like Thumbtack or Groupon. Use word of mouth because it's completely free. It's a free marketing tactic. Use word of mouth. Treat your customers great and then convince them to have their friends and family come back to see you. Put out free content. Definitely put out content. Content, content, content. Your face should be all over social media your product should be all over social media your services should be all over social media when you get a review people see your praises should be all over social media so own media is any platform that you have control over what is put out there this is going to be your youtube channel your facebook channel your instagram channel your blog your website anything that you have control over what's shown is what you need to be putting content on and getting your information out there wherever your customers are. If your customers are on that platform, you need to be on that platform and you need to be consistently putting out content that they want to see and that's gonna drive them to your website, to your products, to your services, and to your business. You definitely need to put out that content. Do not wait around for other people to put it out for you. Do not wait around and say, well, I'm gonna start doing it once my business grows a little bit more. Definitely start from the beginning. Even while you're in the process of building up your business, let everyone know that it's coming so that they can get excited about it, they can get ready to buy from you, and it is definitely going to help your business to grow a lot faster. So, hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot. Um, again, I am going to be making videos about each of the businesses that I did, that I've started in the past, how I started them with no money and what tactics I used to grow them to being profitable businesses. So keep an eye out for that. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Drop a comment down below. Um, again, check out Vistaprint. The link is in the description below. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. Peace.